Alright, so... I usually don't main Ryu, but when I do, I prefer Otro One. Stay salty, my friends. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just gotta, you know, entertain myself, kinda bored. And tired too. Yeah. Sleepy as well. Part of the advantages uh, Ryu has for his assets is that he can link pretty much every, every normal he has. Especially Cancel. I mean, I can link it to Sweep. And if I do that, I just do a safe jump, tick, tick grab, um, do cross ups. It's pretty much a jack of all trades. Um, Especially a jackass. I'm also planning on mini Ryu. And possibly Balrog and Guile. Reason why I'm thinking about that, it's just that in the in the Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 arcade version, uh, some of the updates kinda kinda surprised me. Um, so many drastic changes to uh, a few characters. Uh, for example, Seth, jumping, jumping fierce, is removed. Um, they removed a, a quality of him that was able to zone people. That's like, for me, that's kind of like removing um, Ibuki's kunai throws, or um, or even um, Akuma's fireballs. It's just to keep characters in check. It's not like he can jump forward, jump ears, stretching on thousands. Uh, no. It's, I mean, Seth was pretty much nerfed, especially in Super Street Fighter 4, where his dive kick was nerfed. I, I'm, I'm not sure if his, um, Toe steps were nerfed, but yeah, his jumping fears again, the stretching wings were nerfed in, in this game. They were not removed, but they were nerfed. At all, including his teleports. But with all these nerfs, I still find him enjoyable to play with, and still, he can still compete. I mean, he can. He can't compete. So yes, back on Bara Gaia Ryu. Um planning on maining them mostly because since these drastic changes, I'm not sure if they will have any patches later on in the future, just in case the Super Street Fighter 4 arcade makes it to the uh, to the console. Um, if so, and depending on the changes done to my mains, which is currently Seth, Makoto, Soga, Akuma. If, if they're bad, then I'm just gonna main Ryu, Balrog, and Guile. Not because of high tier. Uh, it's just mostly because these characters weren't that much, weren't really touched from Street Fighter 4 out to this game. So I'm kind of thinking, well, I'm guessing they're less likely to be changed in the future updates. Pick up 
The reason why I call this video lameness, it mostly has to do with the way I play. Um, being that I'm missing punishes. Um, I usually don't play Seth, but this month I have been playing Seth. And I've learned quite a lot. He's pretty much a fun character. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I haven't had a, a lot of chance to play on Seth. And I, hopefully I get to play a lot more before the changes in um, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade. Being that uh, the lo location uh, testers have said that uh, Sev plays differently now. Uh, completely different. He's a new character. So that's kind of sad me. Is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? It all depends how, how the way I see it. Is he fun? Then, yeah, I guess I'll play him even though he's fun. But hopefully he's able to compete. And have a little bit of his old self in some mix. I don't want to play a completely different set. I just would like to have at least something similar to the old set. Oh man, why did I focus that? Got a free corporal right there. Do my follow ups. Alright, good. See, I didn't capitalize right there at all. Um, when Akuma teleports, I could have done um, Standing Fierce, which is pretty much um, a move equivalent to Thousand Standing Fierce. Uh, where he stretches his limbs and hit Akuma out, out of his teleport. One of, one of the problems I come to realize when I play Seth and I'm looking at these videos is that there's some punishments that I could have taken, uh, that I could have punished on, on uh, my opponents. And it mostly has to do with matchup experience. I don't really have any matchup experience using Seth. So I have to play a lot with Seth in order to remember um, if this guy teleports, then I should um, do standing fierce to catch him out of the teleport. If this guy does a whiff shoot, you can I should not do focus attack, charge my focus attack, because I think Seth focus attack is kind of slow. So I might as well like like um, light punch. Uh, standing fears into the spin keg And if I have any follow-up then I'll do for the follow-ups But it's all on uh, matchup experience a lot of experience And with a lot of experience, you get it. You have it implemented into your brain, and you can just do it on reaction. Here we have somebody who was not paying attention to the life bar. I mean, if he jab, 
I could have done uh, a shuriken to chip, him, to chip his life away, or I, or I could have done the ultra right. Uh, Akuma right there had the opportunity to teleport. Not many characters can escape that ultra when um, when Seth does it right at point blank. But Akuma can since he has teleport, which he should have done, and since he had the ultra, he could have got me on my recovery. So, good games in the end.